ups come in all flavors and styles. Some are intergalactic battles against an alien foe. Some are cute girls trapped in bullet hell. Some are weird offshoots of the King of Fighters series. And some, like gun period smoke here, are a steaming helping of the Old West. Despite the similar name and subject material, Gunsmoke the TV show and Gun Period Smoke the video game are in no way related, save for guns, tumbleweeds, and the occasional varmint. So you're this kid Billy Bob, a gunslinger who rides in at sunset to clean up the town. I'm gonna stop that because I'm beginning to annoy myself. Presuming you've ever watched any western ever, you can probably guess where this goes from here. Lawbreakers will be shot, barrels will be shot, sharpshooters up in the windows will be shot, Liberty Valance will be shot, and bags of money will be collected. Normally those would just go to your score, that ominous floating number in the sky that attempts to qualify your performance in a now linear gaming paradigm. In this case though, you can actually spend your score to purchase new and improved armaments, horses, ammunition, or the wanted poster that allows access to the boss. Until you obtain said poster though, you're walking, automatically, through a street that feels and acts more like a Mobius strip. Auto-scrolling keeps you going, though you can wander all over the screen. In a strange turn of controls, both the A and B buttons fire, though each pattern is cocked toward the left or right side respectively. As you'd expect, hitting the buttons simultaneously allows for your ordnance to fly straight ahead. Gun Period Smoke is a very classic Capcom game. Just look at the laser grid on the cart sticker. But it allows for more advanced gameplay than you'd expect. If you run right up to a fence and fire, your shots will cross the obstacle and behave as normal, but enemy fire will be deflected. That's right, 1988 and we're already into cover mechanics. Anyway, you can collect rifle and boot power-ups, which improve your firing range and walking speed respectively, a mount to soak up some bullets, sorry Trigger, or those weird Yashichi things. You know, those pinwheel things. We filled all your weapons in Mega Man 1, found it in exactly uh, one place. Yeah, those things. And because this is an early Capcom game, the music can and will get stuck in your head. Why is it that simple tracks like these can latch onto your brainstem like an alien parasite when it seems the only modern game to accomplish the same feat is Katamari Damashi? It's uncanny. Anyway, the sound effects can get a little bit grating as, I'm not gonna lie, that's a weird sound for gunfire and you're gonna be firing a lot. If you've got a turbo controller, by all means use it. Fire up that NES advantage, slot in that joy card, you're gonna need it. There's not much in the way of plot. You walk forward, shoot guys, and then shoot a bigger guy. What happens when you try to add plot? Well, you get the whole Red Dead Whatchamacallit series. But this comes from a time before that, when life was about walking forward, shooting guys, and then shooting a bigger guy. And then putting your initials in the machine where they'll sit until some new sharpshooter rolls into town.